Good morning guys, how's everybody there? Today, still in the middle of this shit show. Just driving to Ashbourne, it's like fucking 28 days later. With Killian Murphy, not a fucking sausage around. But, uh, what was I gonna say to you? Yeah, so basically, anyway. Um, yeah, it's gone a bit crazy now, to be honest. And I think everybody's realizing now that we do have to take things a hell of a lot more serious uh, than we have been. Like I've been getting out every day for a walk. Now I will continue to do it until there's a, a, a compu complete lockdown because um, it's more for sanity than anything else and it's to get Amelia out of the house obviously being cooked up. She's one of these kids, she's extremely bright and you know no, she's not a, she's far from a difficult kid, she's brilliant, but she's extremely bright to the point that she kind of needs to be mentally stimulated the whole time, you know, and um, she just flies through stuff you give her, whether it be maths or English or anything, you know, and it's a, it's a great thing to see, don't get me wrong, but it's a great thing to see when she's actually in school and she's exercising those, the, the brain cells that she's been given and she's been given a lot of them, and um, I'm delighted she's so bright and intelligent, but you know yourself, it's, it's like, you're, you're cooking up a kid all day and stuff like that. So try and get her out for a walk at least once during the day. And it's uh, it's hard going, you know, for them all. And God love them, they can't see their friends and stuff like that. So, but look, we will get through this, guys. We will, you know. And um, I just, as I said, I think people, including myself, who would have been not lackadaisy or anything, but I was probably not as cautious at the start because I didn't really understand the severity of what was going on now I do so um but other than that just keep taking the precautions with the sanitation and washing your hands and stuff like that and as I said you know it could be a case that it could be a complete lockdown now come you know whenever it is after the 29th I'd say they're going to address things again and to all the teenagers who keep meeting up with their friends and they say don't be little dickheads and little wagons just stop doing it stop fucking meeting up with your pals and you know you, you just have to fucking stay in you know what I mean don't be such a millennial little prick you know what I mean um, <clears throat> you know look I'm, I'm driving to Ashbourne here now and there's a few people out walking and running like you have to have a bit of exercise it's just you know and I, I said look complete lockdown you know things will have to change then and we will all follow suit and I think it probably is needed but the reason why I'm on today guys is not to discuss this absolute bollocks I want to just, just literally just say a huge huge happy Mother's Day to all the fantastic mammies out there because you are the glue that holds a house together have been since the start of time and will be forever um, my own mam is just an amazing woman. I went down yesterday to give her a nanny, or Mother's Day stroke, Nanny's Day presents, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, and I'm glad I have the glasses, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I nearly cried my eyes out because I couldn't hug and kiss me mam. I'm a huge hugger and kisser. Always have been, always will be. I am the stereotypical mammy's boy. Again, I don't care admitting it because I love me mam. She's my inspiration and uh, I just think she's fucking amazing basically. And um, it just killed me that I couldn't throw my arms around and Millie was the same, like she was just, now Millie was, she was less sad about it. She was just kind of, you know, I really want to give you a kiss, you know what I mean? But anyway, we didn't, we stayed our distance. And, um, but no, look, you know, Jenny, uh, is the, the glue that holds our house together at home and I've always said it you know what I mean like I'm, I'm not fucking Mr. DIY or anything like that that's that'd be Jenny's end of things and you know it's she's just she's brilliant and in the time in, you know as I said Jenny works full time and, and stuff like that but whether you're working full time or whether you're not working full time a mammy's job is the most hardest pressured fucking job with, with literally no rewards the only rewards mammies really get, you know, is not monetary, it's more love and, you know, pride where their kids turn out to be, you know, amazing people, mannerly, you know, good natured, you know, intelligent, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, I think that's a reward within itself, you know what I mean? Because if you can look in your kids and go, fuck me, I'm so proud of you, do you know what I mean? But 
I think mummies need to be celebrated today, even if it's only making your mummy breakfast or, you know, like I'm going home now, I had to go out and get something. So, um, we're going to make breakfast together, then myself and Millie. And then later on, I think we're going to go scaries for the day. And then I'll make dinner later on. Now, again, mini Gordon Ramsay, but I'm not bad now, not bad at all. So, um, but yeah, I think just look, you have to look after the mummies today and I think a simple phone call will do, you know, I'll ring my mum later, later on as I said, I was down with her yesterday, but a simple phone call or a Skype or a WhatsApp video, I think would be very welcomed um, in by them, do you know what I mean? Or just look, if they're not that way inclined, you could just give them a text um, just to let them know that you're thinking of them, let them know you love them. Um, and that's it. It's just really down to just making sure that you're present and you know, look, you know, I could see my mum, my mum is a very my mum is a very resourceful person in the sense that she does her yoga. Now, if the fact she can't do her yoga classes, she's doing it at home. She has her painting. My sister lives literally next door to her. So, you know, she has that like she was saying, I was on the phone to Trina for ages and I was laughing because like Trina literally lives the next door to the house but obviously they can't contact us Gina has a young baby there and you know but like it's just it is what it is look it will pass eventually um but in the meantime we just need to look after each other and you know okay we can't go to a restaurant with our mommy today we can't do this we can't do that but you know make sure that they know that they're loved and just make sure that they know you're thinking of them and that's basically it guys, you can't, uh, there's no other way of doing it, um, and I just think that, you know, again, I'm going to get a little bit choked up here because it's saddening me that I can't see my mum. So I'm going to go guys, because uh, I'm glad I have these glasses on, that's all I'm going to say. But look, it's, uh, it's Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to you all, and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic day.